Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video I've got your first gameplay and overview of the M1A2 SEP Tusk. This is a new vehicle that will be coming with the Fire and Ice update for War Thunder, and uh, this is the new top-of-the-line tank for the American Ground Forces Tech Tree. So this is a battle rating 11.0 rank 7 tank, and of course everything you see here is subject to change because this is, after all, the dev server but look at this beast look at all of those machine guns it is just ridiculous so it's got two 12.7 millimeter uh, hmgs two 7.62 millimeter uh, lmgs can't even speak here and of course the 120 millimeter m256 cannon now i did just add these just for fun because i mean just look how many lmgs and hmgs this thing has it is ridiculous and this is a slightly different vehicle compared to the M1A2 that you see here uh, in that it does have of course the tusk armor on the side this is ERA armor now of course again this is the dev server so anything that you see here may or may not change in the future but as you can see it can stand up to really good ERA armor or uh, heat FS I mean to say 1600 millimeters of armor pen from almost a flat shot that is absolutely bananas right there so this thing will be able to stand up to quite a bit and let's even just uh, look at the for example the bmp 2m if i can find that let's use the apds pretty common shell and now all of a sudden you actually have protection that can stop that even the apf sds this will be able to stop it so this is pretty damn impressive and this will give a huge amount of strength to the american ground forces tech tree that they may not have had before uh you know because of course this tusk armor uh, does help a lot when it comes to defending off uh, against attacks and it looks very very powerful actually it looks like some of the best era in the game now this does add some weight to it so this is 64.9 tons this is 61.7 so it's about three tons more with the same engine power now additionally you can get the tusk armor it is in uh, a module that you will be able to get for this so bear that in mind and it does have the same same m8 29a2 uh, shell that the m1a2 has so again bear that in mind there are some pretty uh, similar things with between these vehicles but of course this is a direct upgrade over the m1a2 it has better armor it has a uh, slightly better generation when it comes to thermals so this has gen 2 maybe gen 3 when it comes to thermals so as many of you may know with the exception of the m1a1 aim every single one of the abrams has gen 1 thermals and it sucks especially at top tier now when you have this vehicle when you have the uh gen 2 gen 3 you should be able to see targets much more clearly at a longer range so that said let's get in some matches here i'm really excited to see what we could do with this thing it looks like a beast and a half and it brings the definition of tank to a new level that said let's get into it so this is the new arctic map and uh, as you could see i mean it's pretty flat and open but they're, it's not as one-dimensional as it looked like it was in the dev server, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's some nice buildings here. It's not all too... Uh, looks actually pretty nice. Of course, we have an enemy over here. Wait a second. That's my enemy. That's who I want to kill. Okay, he's coming up. Got him! Critically hit! Man, that sounded good. Woo! Look at all these LMGs, and you got one to the side there. Sorry for the dev server, uh, some of the issues here. So again, being that this is the dev server, a lot of this stuff is incomplete, um, and it also, it's not going to be entirely flushed out, if that makes any sense. Okay, I did not expect that uh, thing to be there, but you know what? Let's go take out a World War II tank. Didn't do it, but hey, you know what? Killed him most of the way, so that's good. Have another World War II tank there. Now this is what it's all about. This is dev server gameplay, guys. We have like one, two, three, four, five. Nope. Four people on their team that are actual players. And then we have everyone else being bots. So bear that in mind as well. If it looks like I'm just dominating a lot of bots, there's a reason for it. Because that's the enemy base that I'm actually able to face. So, I've got an actual enemy player over here somewhere. Man, this thing sounds so good. 
And also the mobility is not all that bad. Bear in mind this is totally upgraded. So it's not... I feel like I hear someone. So it's not like I've got... Um, okay, this is the guy who was shooting at me before. So it's not like this is just some like low-level thing. This is not a stock vehicle that you're seeing here. But it is still what you can expect from a vehicle... Uh, of course, that is fully spaded. But man, I'll tell you. I mean, like, the one... The biggest problem with this thus far, the simplest problem with this thus far, and one of the reasons why dev server gameplay is a little rough sometimes, is quite simply because... it Again, it's not really showing too accurate of, uh, of gameplay. You know, as much as I would love for it to do so... Like, I'm not able to really show you how good this tusk armor is here. That looks like an actual enemy here, but he's literally doing nothing to me. I feel bad. I got like seven kills thus far. I'll try to get into one more match after this. But, I mean, overall, again, a big reason for this sort of gameplay is just to kind of show the basic... I ricocheted off of that? It's to show the basic capabilities of this vehicle. You know, oh, I'm actually in their spawn. Did not mean that, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's World War II tanks I'm fighting. Oh, that's an enemy. That's an enemy for sure. That's the guy. Those are the guys. Uh oh, uh oh. This is bad. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Holy cow! Okay, maybe this is kind of testing the armor a little bit here. Oh my gosh. Six second, seven second reload. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Wow. Holy guacamole. I got some of my armor. Look at the frontal armor on this thing. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Not my thing to spawn camp, even when it's mostly only bots. Most of these guys have left, so it kind of makes me feel a little dirty. Don't like doing that. Woo, that was ugly. Got to gotta reload. I only got two shots left. Did not expect to survive quite this long but let me tell you guys i am thus far kind of impressed albeit you know i mean of course these are those were uh, spaa that i was fighting i'm not going into this thinking that i just fought off like some big boss or something like that it was just spaa you know there's only so much that i can actually um expect and most of these are also world war ii vehicles that are stupid like, I've got no ammunition left anymore. So I have to cap the B point just to be able to continue playing. Wow. Man, these guys are so dumb. These bots. Okay, we have a new game here, and it's in the same match. This is, by the way, called Arctic, uh, or Arctic 02. And uh, I actually, again, really like this map. Also, I've got the other camouflage I was using before. Uh, I always forget to actually set the camouflage as uh, just kind of a manual override rather than allow it to pick the camouflage per battle. But it is what it is. You know, I really don't mind. I mean, either way, this thing looks really, really nice. So we have a few enemies over here, it looks like. Uh, probably some World War II tanks. Or an M1A1 aim. We also have that <laughs> fighting us, it looks like. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Okay, that's a few enemies. Looks like a World War II tank. It's ghost tanks or something. There we go. Ooh, that sounded good. Woo! Look at all those LMG or uh, MGs. Just not even LMGs. Just LMGs, HMGs. Uh, every other type of MG. Who shot me? <laughs> Who dare shoot me? 
He took off some of my uh, some of my uh, ERA. Wow. I'm genuinely impressed by this. Like, of course, again, this is, you know, dev server gameplay. Cannot be not said. That is such an extremely important point to always make, that this is dev server gameplay. It, ooh, that went right through. <laughs> and is thus um, really imperfect gameplay. So no matter how much I would love to pass this off as me dominating, I'm dominating World War II tanks in a vehicle that was released relatively recently. Ooh, 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 how did I screw that up? Does he even know I'm here? Eh, it doesn't matter. Sorry, my man. Your time has come. Sorry about that, Average Joe. But such is the way <laughs> he was pleading with me. I'm sorry. He's like, no, don't kill me. What German vehicles are you even grinding for? Makes no sense. There, I don't think there are any German top tier vehicles uh, to actually get. It's another case where we are just dominating. Wow, that was weird. Actually, I guess it wasn't weird. Um, but this is another instance where we are just dominating. And that's all there is to it. I mean... Do I feel bad? Yeah, sure. Don't get me wrong. But this is dev server. I'm not like... These people are not getting their... Um, they're not losing any real SP or SLRP. None of that. So I'm going to try to fire on... Oh. Ah, fuck. Yeah. I'm going to probably die here because I'm not even like paying attention to the actual enemy team. But it looks like we pretty much locked them down. So I've got... A bunch of kills. Thus far... One death? Two deaths? No deaths? Something like that? I don't know. That did nothing. That did nothing! Ha 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 Oh, wait. That's doing something. Oh, he's... You know what? The What killed me was the M1A1HC. Isn't that impressive? Okay, one more time. I'll go out there with the M1A2 SCP and see what we could do. I'm going to spawn over on the other side here. But very impressed thus far, guys. Very, very impressed with this. I mean, it seems pretty much impervious, at least insofar as um, your ERA holds up. It seems more or less impervious to other vehicles. Um, horizontal turret drive screwed over. To, uh, to auto cannons rather. And this top level shell, the 829A2, is just fantastic. Like, wow, man. I am genuinely impressed. And it's got the Gen 2 thermals. I mean, this is a total upgrade over top of the uh, M1A2. I mean, 100% total upgrade, direct upgrade. Um, with the exception of slightly worse mobility in theory, it's just better. Better in pretty much every way. Wow. Got ourselves another World War II tank here. What? I did. There he is again. Okay, that was unusual. Uh, somebody firing at me from over here, though. Damn, what the heck am I doing? Oh! Is that an actual enemy? Yo, yeah, that's an actual enemy. So where is he? He's up here. Okay. Sometimes the, the problem with uh, APDS or APFSDS is simply that it overpens, and especially when you're dealing with a very lightly armored vehicle like that, uh, what was that, the M247, it can overpen quite a bit. To really be using my heat FS for these guys, but whatever. Doesn't really matter all too much. And here we are again, pushing their spawn. Kind of makes me feel dirty, sure, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> this is the dev server, no holds bar, or whatever the term is. Roseanne bar. Oh, there we go. The same guy. Nine and oh, this dude is putting in work. He is. Got the baguettes on top and everything. 
Either way, that is the M1A2 SCP. Again, very limited sort of gameplay, dev server gameplay. There's only so much I can do in that. But I actually am very, very impressed by this vehicle. And I like the new map. It's a very interesting map. It'll be very interesting to see what it's like with actual players on it and not full of bots. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, I'm interested to read their comments and... Uh, if you can, spare a like, spare a subscribe, as those both help my channel, and, uh, well, only if you want to, because, of course, why, why would you have to do it? But either way, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.